two months later we are back with another video hey guys it's sarah i am a third year combo student studying at queen's university i've honestly had my fair share of highs and lows balancing school, extracurriculars, part-time jobs, as well as maintaining a social life. I have pulled a couple of all-nighters this semester, and there were times when I did not feel like life was going okay. To be honest, I feel like I've been an academic victim this semester. Here are seven unconventional things I do to stay sane as a student. To preface, I understand that going to the gym and going for walks, that's great, but... What else is there? Number one is to plan fun activities at least one week in advance. So I'll admit I love spontaneity. I think it's amazing and so fun, especially going on midnight ice cream runs with the house. But I also found a lot of benefits with scheduling things ahead because it gives you something to look forward to. And I think especially in university where every day is a grind, a little bit of motivation does go a really long way. Number two is to bring fun back into the picture. So this is an extension of number one. So a few weeks ago, my house decided that we were going to go to All You Can Eat Sushi. We went at lunch to get our money's worth, and we decided to have a competition to see who will eat the most. We decided on this decision a week in advance, and for all of us, honestly, it kept us very motivated and energetic throughout the entire week. So with a little bit of research, scientists have actually found that rewarding yourself for reaching goals changes the chemistry of our brains because it releases a chemical called dopamine, and it makes us more motivated. This is all to say there is a little bit of truth in what I'm saying. Number three is to wear cute jewelry. As a student, you have a lot of boring days where you're doing the exact same thing. So one way to make them more interesting is to wear cute jewelry that makes you feel confident. I'm currently wearing my favorite earrings as well as my favorite necklace. And all of which are from Ana Luisa. Growing up, cheap jewelry from fast fashion brands was my go-to. And yes, they looked sparkly and pretty for the first few wears, but then they turned black and irritated my ears. They came to a point where I stopped wearing jewelry altogether because it just became too much of a hassle. But then I found Ana Luisa, a New York-based jewelry brand that has redefined my accessory journey. With Ana Luisa, my ears no longer reacted and I started to build a capsule wardrobe. I wear the same few earrings and necklaces every single day, and I think that's exactly what you want. You want jewelry that will last a long time, and it sucks when you find a beautiful design, but then it starts to tarnish. But you never have to worry about that with Ana Luisa. They offer free and fast shipping, and their jewelry is also crafted with the planet in mind. They're carbon neutral and climate neutral certified, offsetting 100% of their carbon footprint. Here's a collection of my Ana Luisa jewelry that I've had for a couple of years now that I absolutely love. Shop high quality, affordable jewelry that also make for the perfect holiday gift for up to 35% off while you still can. Use this link that is also in our description box. Let's get back to the video. Number four is to not bring your phone with you when you're going to the kitchen to make food, etc. This has been huge for me. I find that throughout the day, there's so many notifications that are just going off. So Instagram for group messages, I have Slack for work, Outlook for school, Gmail, etc. There's just so much to do constantly. And I find that if I don't bring my phone with me, I have at least 30 minutes of time where it's peaceful and worry free and I can just make my food in peace. Number five is to watch or listen to some sing-alongs. So if you're a Disney or Barbie fan, you know where it's at. But I find that if you've been sitting at your desk for hours on end grinding or you feel a lack of motivation, get up from your seat and put on some sing-along. It's going to energize you and you're going to feel so much more productive after. Some of my favorites include Disney and Barbie on the screen right now. I'm just like you. You are? Well, the tides, the sun, the sun. I don't remember what number, I think this is number six, but it is to leverage the buy one, get ones. Don't lie, you love a good deal. I do too. We're all students. It's a shared passion. My discipline used to be so strong, but this semester has literally taken me out. And I've been obsessed with the buy one, get one pizzas. I've gotten it so many times now, it's starting to become iconic. Now my housemates send me memes and reels about it. As a student, budgeting is so real, but the feeling you have when you can get an additional item for free just feels really good. 
Last but not least, number seven is to celebrate the small wins. University is not a sprint. It's a journey where you get to figure out who you want to be, what you want to do in the future, and who are the people that you still want to stay connected with after university. I think sometimes we get so caught up on trying to achieve the next big thing that we don't celebrate the small wins. For me, the small wins includes the chats that I have in between classes or learning a new meal. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for listening. I do want to preface by saying that all of these methods are based on my personal experience. So I don't want to say that you have to do these things or that guarantee that they will work. However, I found them to be extremely helpful and you may use them for inspiration. I hope you like the editing style of this video. Let me know what you think. I've been trying some new things, playing around with different editing and filming techniques. Or what do you do as a student to stay sane and mentally okay? Once again, check out Anna Luisa for the cute jewelry that's perfect for the holiday season. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!